Welcome, everybody. Mitakuye Oyasen. My name is Annette Lee. I am mixed race Lakota, and my communities are Ojibwe and Dakota Lakota. I'm here at Minnesota Makoche, Minnesota. I greet you with a good heart and welcome, welcome you to our gathering. This is Native Skywatchers and the Stardust Project. So this is a project, We Are Stardust, and it's a collaboration between Native Skywatchers and um, Raja, uh, based at UC Santa Cruz. So We Are Stardust. So we're going to give you a quick overview and a few incredible highlights. I am uh, an astronomer and a professional visual artist. I have been teaching astronomy. This is the end of my 12th year. And before that, I taught four years of faculty in studio art. I've also been involved in education for a good 35 years. This project, We Are Stardust in particular, is it was born out of really a lifetime of work and my own passion as a person who is very interdisciplinary. So here you can see that through Native Skywatchers, we had been, we've been working for maybe about a decade on creating collaborative videos, storytelling vid videos. And at the same time, my work um, as faculty teaching introductory astronomy, this was also blended into Astro 101. This project um, involves participants making content to tell their story about their connection to the sky. And it has three parts. The first part is the science story, which could be in any order. The science story with the lens of science. What is that story about our relationship to the stars, especially that phrase, we are stardust. And then the culture story. So whatever your connection to culture is, um, maybe it's ethnicity, maybe it's something bigger, a social group. What is the cultural story about connection to the stars? And third and most importantly is that connection, my story. What is your personal connection to the stars? And in this project in particular, besides making um, the digital video production, like a five minute video, the participants are also making an art object that tells this story. Um, no, thank you, Annette. Because of the pandemic, we are being forced to do everything in ways that are different from before. And uh, when it comes to astronomy research, it means we can't go to the mountaintop. We can't go to our the institution uh, that I belong to, UC Santa Cruz, or any, any campus, really, to operate the telescope. So they've started a mode called pajama mode observing, where you don't have to get out of your pajamas, you don't have to get into street clothes to use the telescope. So it's a remarkable, um, I think, leveraging of technology today, where you can sit at home. And as you can see on this screen, the left half of the, the left two thirds of the screen show you the controls of a telescope that's on a mountaintop that at least from my house is 50 miles away. Welcome to Hassan, welcome to Michael who are joining us as we uh, listen in with our astronomer um, about some telescope and astronomical topics. So welcome to you all. Please continue. So this patch of sky that you see here, this is, a, uh, you can see the background sky, it looks like a night sky with you know little dots, which are stars in our Milky Way, um, a collection of galaxies in this patch of sky. If I zoom in even more, you'll see, you see all kinds of lovely details. And I, this is one of my favorite galaxies, this one right here that I'm zooming into. And you'll see that many galaxies are shaped like Frisbees. They're shaped a flattened disc shape. One of my favorite ones is this guy here, which doesn't look like a flattened uh, disc-like galaxy. This galaxy is ramming into the material in the cluster with such high speed that it's been warped and distorted the art part of the project We Are Stardust. And it really is to um, support participants in creating something. So the question is, what do you want to create that would tell your story about your excitement for the stars or connection to the sky? Create something. I dare you. I, I, I encourage you. And here you go. Here's this opportunity. So, so you're going to see examples coming up in just a second of our elementary 
and middle school students that did this project. And you'll see they created paintings here, you can see on the left side, and in other cases, um, created uh, game uh, animation and also uh, some theater artwork. The, the culture story is when you actually go about creating that something, that's the art piece, then kind of asking yourself, well, what is that a part of? What bigger cultural umbrella is that a part of? And then to do a little research on that and to explore uh, an object or a representative piece from that culture. So I'm, I'm Raja, Raja Guhatakutta. I'm a professor at the University of California, Santa Cruz. We are using what's called pajama mode observing. Okay, so my first question is, what is the purpose of the star? From now on, think of that being the purpose of a star is to create new elements. My dad's painting shows that everyone that is alive has a spirit and is connected. In the painting, it shows beavers, loons, and stars during springtime. It shows how loons have their babies. See how the trees have no leaves. How I know it, it is spring. You can see through the animals like an x-ray. My dad says this is how spirits see us. Also on the painting is a bird flying, indicating that it's spring. That are our oldest living relative. People are forgetting that they have spirits. It's important that I remember that I have a spirit. Wushu, I need hello. Indigenous cause. My name is Sagi Dota Adik. My clan is Kelbu. The title of my presentation is We Are Made of Stardust. During their lives, some stars go out of control in a way that causes them to bounce up and down. Not bounce in terms of oscillate, but they. Is a measurement. He used a river to start and then he hit it on the side and it goes down. And you and goes to the face uh, goes out and start the falling star and the canoe birch bark and that's what he he's going uh, he's, he's gonna go check something. Maybe Mars or something where you used to sail on Tampa. They went all over over there. Teaching is that all living things like humans, animals and plants come from the stars. I also have paintings that are about the penguin galaxy. Can you see penguin in my painting? And yes, there is a galaxy that is penguin shape. It is called NGC. So I'm, I'm Raja. I'm a, a prof Raja Guhatakutta. I'm a professor. At I'm Calder Hug. Can we eventually travel the speed of light or even pass it? Should we start with the question? There we go, right there. Okay, so now right here, you can, if things are working right, you can see a rocket right here, right? Yes. Okay, good. Um, this is the satellite or probe. It has batteries, some parachutes, which I don't really need, but I'm still going to have them in case it fails. Um, I have some solar panels and an antenna. Moon Boy by Calder Hawk. I was born on the full moon, and we like to howl on at the moon when there's a full moon. Oh. Yeah. Oh! Hello. I'm Max. I love space. How about you? I adore space because I like how beautiful it is and how it's amazing and endless. Very heavy, like the density of a black hole. Could you move, like the singular, like the singularity? Wow, oh, that is a great question. That um, if humans go faster than the speed of light, do they become spirits? You know. I know you use uh, lights in your work. How do, how do you use those, like how do those connect? Well, I'm interested in lights and spirit. I have two parents who are artists. I also have one brother called Calder. Wee, wee, wee. I also got two flying sisters, Veggie and Bonnie. They would look at the stars with me.